Since 2017, together with Japan's largest public broadcaster, NHK, the Ars Electronica Future Lab has been pursuing questions about the future of the next generation of 8K ultra-high definition TV technology. At the Ars Electronica Festival 2018, some of this 8K content were already presented in the Deep Space 8K to provide insight in the collaboration under the title Beyond the Frame. This collaboration focuses on several case scenarios that explore the framing and application of 8K television content based on questions of image composition, new content and forms of staging. What possibilities are there for new formats, interaction methods or situations that 8K can integrate into everyday media use? Several approaches were developed and tested as beyond the frame future projects in selected scenarios. For example, Media Meets Platz focused on the collective experience of 8K media in public space. A public screening, workshops and a meeting plans in emergency situations tested a mobile format for new TV technology in social context. TrueScale TV was used to investigate how the lifestyle representation of classic media content changes reception attitude starting with the environment of the Deep Space 8K. Results of the TrueScale TV concept were also presented at the Ars Electronica Festival 2019. As a next step, we explored new standards of the viewing experience with Cascade. In Cascade, a series of installations with diverse 8K content in vertical format are created to integrate the 8K technology into our daily lives in new ways. In March 2021, we will be opening an exhibition titled Resonant Media – Possibilities of 8K Visualization in Shibuya, Tokyo. The exhibition explores scientific and artistic approaches in the extremely high-resolution world of 8K. The resolution of 8K is so high and realistic that it can express and visualize new details, provide new knowledge and awareness, and bring out emotions and empathy in a very strong way. Scientists and artists are currently using this technology not to just visualize data, but to express also their project in ways that resonate in, with our environment and our society. It helps inform society, at the same time it raises awareness towards important issues and topics in the world. When we experience the environment, memories and stories of others in this hyper-realistic world, it makes us feel as if he were there with that person. And we cannot help us but feel and connect in a powerful way. The exhibition utilizes 8K in different way to explore new possibilities, visualize the invisible and resonate in the heart of the people and the society. If you have the possibility, we invite you to enjoy the exhibition at the Shibuya Cross in the beginning of March. If you cannot be there, we hope to see you soon online for our next home delivery in March during the exhibition. We will invite scientists, artists and technologists to discuss together about the impact of the 8K technologies and the possibilities it offers for journalistic, scientific and artistic visualization. And of course, do not forget to support us and subscribe to our channel. NHK is producing a large number of 8K content and we hope to explore the possibilities of fully utilizing them towards the future. We are very proud about the collaboration with NHK because they are really the pioneers in 8K video and we have this environment here in the deep space. The benefit of uh, 8K is that this allows um, new forms of how to present the content to the audience. You are not restricted by the size of the screens anymore and the screens can get much bigger, the audience can get much closer to the image, but not only the resolution is changing, also the quality of the 
colors, the dynamics of the image, and this is really the next generation of audiovisual experience. We look forward to seeing house electronics, cutting edge and essential ideas in the worldwide network connecting with NHK's efforts in 8K content production, bringing forth something new to the future generation. Deep space context, the concept of real scale is very interesting. It is quite simple to understand. It is just to show the things as big or as speed as they are in real life. For example, if you think about weather content, what happens if you can see the wind at the real speed of 120 km per hour going through the screen? What happens if you can see a wave of 7 meters in front of your eye? There is an emotional relationship with the content that you don't have any else. Waves were about 8.5 meters high, and the storm flood reached incredible 4 meters in some areas. And that really is one to watch over the next few days. Another prototype we did with a real scale rule was a program for children. It's a new kind of animation series for children called Living Numbers. We tell a story in which our living environment is connected through size, speed, and quantity. That is as tall as a full crown line. Imagine filling this whole room with apples all the way to the top. We would end up with almost 400,000 kilograms. If we made juice out of these apples, we would get just under 300 liters. <laughs> well, this allows the kids to explore the hidden world of the numbers in a playful way. We are wanting to create a new experience, or I mean the future experience. We can dive into the story, dive into the storytelling. So, and also um, we had installed the interactive things. So for example, um, the big shadow uh, will swallow up the Aris, the heroine of the story, and that same situation will happen to the audiences on the floor. Yeah. And this is a so challenging project uh, that I mean so out of the box. In December last year, we launched the world's first 8K channel broadcasting via satellite with ultra high definition images and 22.2 .2 channel sound. And for exploring uh, new possibilities of 8K, we began a uh, collaboration with uh, Ars Electronica Future Lab, and uh, who is going ahead about 8K and as a social innovator. Deep Space 8K expand our images, our future of 8K. With a simple gesture, like rotating the display of 19 degrees, we are reframing the relation between the body and the digital space. 
And this has many implications. For example, if you think about telepresence, with a super high detailed resolution that IK, 8K offers, plus some design strategy like real scale, then you can get a new level of telepresence. Portrait models can be very good when you um, have human-centered content because just of the simple um, reason you see the person better. But also there's this aspect of the time dynamic or the time dimension in video. So we need to explore what camera movements like pannings, etc. Um, how they change with changing the format. Format is the frame which dictates how you can work with content and changing the format allows you to rethink this from scratch and this is exactly the challenge that we define for our research. With a simple gesture of turning the screen, we put a question mark of our viewing habits and standards. With the Project Cascade, we want to explore new ways of viewing 8K content in our daily life. Mm -hmm.